What's going on guys? Just up here in Muskoka, Ontario, Port Carling, and I'm about to launch the boat. There's a boat ride, my friend, he's kind of attending it, and I come along with my own boat, and we're gonna get out and do our own thing. We'll see what happens, I don't even know what to expect today. Probably gonna do a little bit of fishing. My boy got his license. Actually, it's Kevin who's come to the yard to split firewood with me. So you guys know who that is if you've seen the videos in the past. So let's drop the boat in the water and see what happens here. All right, so we're on the water. We've got a second guest in the boat. We don't know if she wants to be on camera yet. So we'll let her figure that out. But anyways, we're gonna start motoring through here and meet up with the group. Are they in the same spot? That has a canopy and everything. Yeah, they're just chilling. Put 
pussy cat. Well, quite a high rise without a plan. You were ready to be in the night. It's all dark and dangerous. Lost at first sight. I tried to hold you, but you were gone by this up to Port Carling. There's a couple restaurants here and whatnot. This is a great true north guys. <laughs> and the thing about Muskoka too is the boathouses are like insane here. You can't build new boathouses here so your grandfather didn't if you have one. But these are nothing. These boathouses are nothing man. You've probably seen some of them in the earlier footage but look even this one has a wood stove in it. Jeez, we wish this day was longer. It's like, what, 2.30 now? You gotta be up here for a week yeah. to really enjoy it, man. One thing I like about getting out there is when people get together to have a good time, whether it's on land or it's on water, I like when people are just coming out to enjoy themselves. They're not going about their errands and they're keeping themselves and you know, they're. They got their face down and they're all busy and stuff. I don't like that, man. I like when people get out here and they're just here to enjoy themselves, you know? All right, guys, we're just gonna get something to eat here. Just stopped in Port Carling. Let's see what they got on the menu. I think they went over here. Oh, you wanna get some? Yeah, we'll them on the other side. Where are they going anyway? Whoops, filmed this bit in time-lapse mode. Just showing you guys around the restaurant. I got a crappy walleye sandwich that was overpriced because, you know, it's Muskoka. After we left here, we picked up another couple over at the pier and then they got on their boat. And then shortly after that is when the incident happened. So along the way back, the other boat stopped so that people could get out and swim. So the new guy who had just gotten in the boat with his girlfriend, he jumped out. And the boat kept kind of just going slowly and then a the couple of the girls jumped out. And I noticed the distance growing between the guy swimming and the other boat. I kept an eye on him and I was like, this guy's being pretty brave to swim like that. You know, I know some people have that confidence and they'll go out there in the middle of the water like that, no problem. I'll jump in, but you know, I'm not going to be far from the boat because as much as I can swim, I can't float. So anyways, I start motoring towards the guy and as we're getting closer, he starts to kick up or whatnot. As we got up beside him, my friend grabbed his arm and the guy put a grip on his on Kevin's arm. And Kevin went to pull him in. But he said even though the guy had the grip, he said that the guy's head was still in the water. So I had to get out of my seat and go and help the guy in. And we put the ladder out. He was kind of able to climb on the ladder. We had to hoist him in the boat. And then he fell down beside the gunnel in between the two seats on the side of the boat and the gunnel. He fell in between there and he just laid there. He just collapsed in there. And then it took him a few minutes to revive. We started talking to him and he was telling us that he had a cramp. And Kevin said that he probably had a cramp even before the guy said anything. So it was a good call on his part and good call for looking out after the guy and making sure he's all right, you know, because if he goes under the water, that's it. You might not see him. There's a bunch of current there in the lake. So even if he dropped at a certain point, he might have been taken away from the current too. You know, I've been to a lot of these lakes up north, but I've never seen one where you could actually see the current flowing through. And there was one section where you could see the current and it was flowing between some islands and you actually had to give the boat some throttle to get through it. That guy turned out to be from where my parents are from, which is Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean islands. It's the last island in the Caribbean archipelago next to Venezuela. And you can actually see Venezuela from the northwest shore of Trinidad. 
And uh, I was also telling the guy that, you know, maybe he's used to swimming in the sea. I don't know what his story is. Obviously, he could swim. He probably learn back home. But the thing is, the water here, because it's fresh water, you sink faster in it too. Because it's not as dense with the salinity. So maybe that played an aspect too. It's a good thing we got the guy in the boat. It was actually a really nice day out on the water. It was nice to be in the heart of Muskoka and do some boating. It was the perfect weather. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too windy. And I really enjoyed it. And I'll be joining that group next year when they head back out. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.